How did you get into catching bugs? You know, it all started because I wanted a pet, you know. Growing up, parents never let me have a pet. It was pretty depressing. And in our apartments, it's like $500 a month to have a pet on the complex. You know, so we figured might as well get something small that we can hide from the landlords and have fun with. It actually all started when we found a caterpillar, you know, but ran away, unfortunately. You know how they be. What kind of bugs do you guys have? We figured we should have gotten something that we could feed because we could maybe domesticate it if it knows we're going to give it food. And we ended up getting some spiders, you know, the eight-legged creepy crawlies. And I don't know, they're pretty cool. We have a lot of cockroaches and crickets in our backyard, which is kind of gross, but we like catch them with cups and then throw them into the, the spider's webs in our little box and we get to feed our spiders and take care of our cockroach problem. If you could find your favorite bug of all time, what would it be? Favorite bug of all time. Hmm. My roommate and I, we actually talked about this. And we really wanted a praying mantis. We thought that would be pretty cool. But we haven't found one yet, sadly. But if we would, that would be awesome. We could also feed it the same bugs. Maybe even feed it some spiders. That would be interesting. And um, actually, no. My favorite bug would actually be a goliath beetle. When I was in Costa Rica, my uncle showed me some. It's like a huge beetle with horns and it's like black and white. Super cool. That would be pretty awesome to have as a pet, and they just eat leaves. What is the hardest part about maintaining a healthy environment for these bugs? Okay, so the hardest part about maintaining our habitat for these creatures is probably keeping them from running away. It's not that, like, they don't like us. It's just that they're not dogs. They're not going to stay by your side. They're going to do their own thing. So we try and feed them as much as possible, but... Uh, the spiders will fight over the food, and if one doesn't get food, it'll get eaten or eat another spider or run away. So that's pretty, like, maintaining the balance of power in their little ecosystem is probably the hardest thing. What has been your favorite part about catching bugs? All right, let's see, let's see. Favorite part, it's kind of like the whole experience. It's pretty unique. People don't really do it, and people think we're weird for it, but, you know, like, I don't know. In a way, you kind of, um, we get to show people a lot, so watching people's reactions is pretty cool. Like when we throw a cockroach in its web and the spider jumps on it and spins it up, people like freak out, but they're also amazed, which is pretty cool because most of the time people are scared to death of spiders, but now you get to kind of watch them. And, you know, it's a win-win. We're having, we're having fun and the spiders are eating, so that's cool. What would you recommend to someone who wants to start catching bugs? I don't know. Face your fears. A lot of people are scared of bugs, but they're pretty cool. They they like to go hunting and eat and, you know, make a little house like a cardboard box. Throw some leaves and, twi leaves and twigs in there and, you know, I'll go catch a caterpillar, some roly polies. Makes you feel like a kid again because, like, I don't know if you guys did that, but when I was little, me and my friends would go do that stuff. But, yeah. <laughs>